Well, hello again. Thought I'd make another video. It's a little slow today as it's the day before Christmas Eve, and I don't think anybody's thinking about buying books today. But anyways, uh, I had a few questions from a person anonymously who emailed me, and I guess this is my five questions to answer. So I will answer these questions for that person. Uh, and they all have to deal with the economy, but there was one that I thought was kind of interesting. And uh, I answered that first. Uh, someone said, you know, this person said, are you married or single? Well, like half uh, the people in our society, unfortunately, I am going through a divorce. And uh, that's pretty much a signed, sealed, and done deal. So not officially single, but uh, I will be probably soon, as soon as I hear from the court. So if you're interested, I don't know. Uh, but uh, anyways, my five questions getting that little personal question out of the way. The first question that came to me was, where do I see the California economy in 12, 12 months from now? Well, I think we're going to have more of the same because they're not doing anything to change it. So it's only going to be worse. Um, I see probably uh, the official rate going another two points to 14, maybe 15 percent unemployment. Uh, the unofficial like shadow stance rate I could see in some places as high as 23-24 percent. Um, you know, uh, so I think it's going to be worse. I think it'll be more people are going to be in food lines, more people on food stamps, just more and more of what we have now. Um, I do think that there's going to be some uh, revolt to some sort. There's going to be rebellion against not, maybe not the system, but the, the um, uh, a revolt against their uh, lot in life, you know, probably. Uh, you know, the people that are at the bottom rung are going to revolt somehow. And it's going to not going to be to change the system. It's just going to be to tear down things as they are. Uh, you know, physical things. I don't think it's going to be a real changing. And it may actually lead to uh, more um, uh, loss of liberty. That's what I'm really concerned about. Uh, next question: What factor is most important towards a turnaround uh, to turn around this downward economic spiral? Well, the first thing I think is lowering taxes. Uh, somewhere we have to lower tax. Uh, we've got to get government uh, further away from our wallets, and that will may mostly turn things around. I don't think government can buy into an industry and you know buy into a market and just make it turn around. Uh, there has to be some uh, necessary economic need. You just can't create a uh, need and want. You have to, uh, you know, let that develop. And uh, there is pent up demand somewhere in the system. Uh, you know, there could be pent up demand for housing, uh, but the price hasn't come down. And you know, a lot of people, you know, are wondering, you know, whether there's going to be a flood of houses on the market. So they're uh, not sure whether to buy. Uh, they're sitting on the sidelines. So. Um, but you know what I really think is we need to get more manufacturing. Uh, that's the only way to turn things around because manufacturing produces real wealth. Uh, you know, just uh, loaning money to people back and forth doesn't really produce wealth. It actually is a tax on uh, productivity. Um, so the best thing we could do is uh, you know, get manufacturing going somehow. Um, you know, how we do that is, is the question. Um, Next question. If you could do something to protect and insulate yourself from the economy, what would you do? Well, if I had some money available, and I have a little bit, um, I would try to find a house somewhere I could buy, purchase whole, and not have to have a mortgage because a mortgage is a, or rent is a big nut to make each month. And that's the best way to insulate yourself. Plus, with a uh, house, uh, you know, if you have a large garage and pantry, you're able to. Uh, save food and of course hopefully leapfrog any inflation that comes your way. The best thing you can do right now is to build up a uh, supply of food. Um, you know, man, not everybody can grow a garden, but you can probably, you know, uh, you know, just, just Google a year supply of food and figure out what that is for one person. Uh, the Mormons are very good at that. They have that on some of their websites. Um, it's free to you, so I would say go ahead and do it. So food and water, um, you know, if you feel like you need protection, uh, you know, 
buy a gun, maybe, just as, you know, keep people from pillaging your, your property. Uh, but, you know, if you could own a house outright somewhere, anywhere in America, that would be the best bet for you. Uh, you know, that will give you time to develop and train yourself better. Uh, and you won't have to worry about working so hard to make the big nut each month. Um, what law would you most would you most like changed to help this economy right now? Well, the first law I'd like to see changed is the uh, 14th Amendment, uh, you know, where it, it's basically being usurped by people uh, who are coming over here uh, with their anchor babies, you know, basically coming becoming tourists to drop a baby on us and uh, you know, then getting all the uh, free services, that needs to change. Uh, doesn't mean that it will immediately lower the cost, no, but I think that at least we'll be sending a good message. Um, also, we need to tighten up our uh, employment when it comes to uh, immigration. Uh, I think it should be Americans first, and we should train Americans to do the jobs we need done. Uh, there's no, no job that an American won't take, especially when he's desperate. So, you know, that's what we should do. Uh, next one, uh, w will I purchase a government health plan? I will not purchase a health plan, a government health plan or a government sponsored health plan. Nor, you know, I personally feel very healthy and I, you know, I don't paraglide or parachute or any of those things. So, uh, no, I will not purchase a government ha health plan. Um, I don't smoke, I don't drink. So, for me, it doesn't make sense. But, uh, and I will not pay the fine if they try to fine me because that's totally unconstitutional. So there you have that. Um, and I guess that's it. That's my five questions that I'm going to answer. Hope it was informative and helpful. Thanks. Just uh, checking out the store because I'm doing it while we're open. So, you know, I always have to let these videos run a little longer because uh, YouTube has a funky way of cutting them down by a minute, I think. So uh, hopefully you're getting my whole video. Don't always watch them afterwards. So I don't like watching myself.